and a little little bit of the boss man. I mean, let me think, Josh. Let me guess. Let me guess, Josh. He lost it all. He lost it all, and then maybe even he smashed something. He hit a hole in the wall. No, uh, this morning, right before the stream. Uh, in his time, it, he uh, woke up bright and early, started streaming, and he was obviously joke uh, like bumped up on crack. Like he had obviously smoked a big, a big crispy crackerino, crackerooski rock, and was just completely elated in a great mood. And uh, he was doing some gamba sashes, losing some hundred dollars, like nothing, right? And then as he, after he lost it all, a little ratatouille rat shows up in his chat and starts going LOL because he had lost it all. Now, Bossman Jack, usually after a uh, losing it all, is down in the dumps. He is sad. He's thinking of doing something stupid, not too happy with himself. Uh... However, things are different this time because of the crispy crack rock that he had just uh, uh, inhaled uh, was was keeping his mood at a minimum level. So he starts talking about what a great guy he is, how this little ratatouille rat had no reason to not like him and had no reason to hate on him, had no reason to cheer when he lost money. Um, the little ratatouille rat said, actually, sir, you are depressed. You talk about killing yourself all the time. You lose thousands of dollars. You're a burden on your parents. And he goes, no, sir, actually, I love my life. I love my job. Uh, I make $18,000 a month through my various income streams. And I'm extremely proud of my work. And I know, I know rat that I'm a good person. And so to prove to the rat, that he is a good person, that he uh, lives a worthwhile life, and that he is proud of himself. He brings out a witness to testify to his character, introducing Mama Man Jack. I don't care, I'm just trying to prove a point. I don't care what they say. I can give a fuck less. My mom's coming in here, not my dad. My dad's downstairs, my mom's coming in here. Mom, I know it's really messy. I get it. I know. Please don't start cleaning up. Just, just, just look at the chat. I know. Now, this is my mother. Say hi to everybody. Everybody hi. say hi to my mom. Hi. Okay, no, look over here. Right here. Okay, sorry. It's going to go really fast, though. It's going to go really fast. But I want... No, stop. Stop. What the fuck are you doing? Why don't you read that out loud? Listen, tell the chat one good thing about me and that... That you don't hate me like these guys try to tell me. I do not hate him. He's my son. I brought him into the world. Okay, so but how can you hate your own child? You think I'm a bad person? And am I a bad person? Austin doesn't That's always it. make the very best choices. No, I don't. But She's he <laughs> always has had a very tender heart. She just starts instinctively. He even specifically asked her, Mom, I know that my living conditions are abhorrent, and this is disgusting. However, when you're in here, you're on camera, please do not embarrass me by cleaning up. And she just instinctively, unable to be compelled otherwise, starts collecting cans. Because this is one of her only chances to tidy up this room just a little bit. And it's not that she doesn't know that he doesn't want her to do this. It's that she doesn't care. Because she's got to make use of the time that she has with access to his desk to start uh, working on the mess that's in front of her. She is instinctively compelled to do so. For people less fortunate, he always has, even as a little boy. And the fucking, excuse my language, the mic has dropped! The no. mic has dropped on the floor! Sorry, guys. The mic has dropped. Can you give an example of where I've looked out for less good fortunate people? Is there any examples you can remember? I, he used these to people, these people, They should see this shit. They make, there are thousands of people online on YouTube that make me look like I'm a complete piece of crap. Can you, can you give me an example of when it happened? He used to um, come in anytime, almost, anytime. It doesn't matter. Anytime, almost every day from can, school what? Okay. and say, why do we live in the house we do and so-and-so lives in a, the house they do? It's, all right, all right, all right. Enough, enough said. We love you. Say lo I love you, mama. Boss man really missed out. 
he could have been a lawyer because the way that he's wrangling her is literally exactly like how a lawyer would wrangle somebody during deposition. And it's like you've been asked a question. Answer the question. Do not speculate. Do not tell some wild tale. Just say the make your point in as few words as possible with as little speculation as possible and conclude and stop. And it's like he's telling the story and the lawyer's just like tapping him on the shoulder like, okay, that's enough. You've said it enough. You've answered the question. Don't don't say anything. Don't impeach yourself here on the stand. Move along. Like he could. I'm telling you, that's this guy. He could have been an attorney <laughs> if it wasn't for the crack. In the Gamba sesh. Fuck Mama Boss Man. Look at, look, that's, I want everybody to type in the Love You Mama, Mama Boss Man. Come on, guys. Can you not? Look at this fucking shit. You are so, dude, you are embarrassing the shit out of me, cleaning all this shit up. Damn, Mom, I just asked you not to do that. Look, I, I must, I know, I'm, I know I'm not the nicest to her, but I just, I just told her, please don't clean up my room. It's dirty. I love you. Please don't do that. What is the first thing she fucking does? She starts fucking cleaning up the fucking table. Oh my God, mom, I love you, but please, that's embarrassing. Damn, I'm embarrassed, chat. I, I'm gonna clean up today. Mom, I'm gonna clean my room up today, I promise. <laughs> I'm just imagining her like, she gets invited into the room and then he's like, okay, whatever you do, do not clean up this room. And then the only way that could have been funnier, like her, her mom moment where she just instinctively starts sweeping it up is if she were to like somehow like whip out like a, a rolled up plastic trash bag and then just like, you know, pop it open and just take her arm and just like swipe everything into the bag and then run out of the room. Like she's a, like a burglar with like a, 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 a cloth sack over her shoulder. Like, <laughs> yoink, this is mine now. <laughs> Where's the dad? Dad's downstairs. Dad's got a big old pot belly. He rolls up. He no shit's good. Shit is going down if Papa Man Jack shows up. That's it. I will. I will not uh, in, make you endure the the moments where he indeed, in fact, lost it all. I enjoyed this uh this moment. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice. <laughs>